what is crack a lack and how's all my schizos out there doing today i hope you are having a great and wonderful monday yeah i know i said it today is monday <laughs> all right y'all a little bit better today i'm doing a little bit better as you noticed um i'm sorry that i came on last night and uh was a little bit depressed but hey uh you know i, I want y'all to know me inside and out um and i am trying not to hide nothing from y'all so i figured you guys should see every side of me and if i am depressed i am not going to put on a front i am going to come on here and tell you look guys i am depressed blah 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 and that way i can talk to you guys that way it gives me someone to talk to and um you know i told y'all that i was depressed and i've had so many people message me and tell me you know what bro you're not around I mean alone, um, keep, stay in there, keep it up, keep up the good work, and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Everybody has had a good word for me, and I really thank you guys. It really put a smile on my face this morning whenever um, I turned my stuff on today and logged in, and I seen all that, and I was like, you know what? Um, my schizos have to be the best family there is on now YouTube. So as long as we stay like this guys and whenever we get more followers, hopefully they are like you guys. Because if they are, I will be ecstatic because you guys are totally awesome. Okay guys, I am so sorry about that. I had to put this down for one second because there was a cop and I don't want to get in trouble that's the last thing I need right now is a fine to pay but all right y'all um if there's any young kids watching this video I am smoking a vape do not do this do not please do not try it I don't care what any of your friends say oh it's cool or blah 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 or you can boo uh Blow big clouds of smoke, blah, blah. there's still nicotine in it, and it is not good for you. Please do not do it. Okay. Now that we're done with that, how is all the schizos out there doing today? Uh, like I said, I hope you guys are doing great and wonderful. And I hope your Monday went really good. Hopefully nobody had to go to work today with a hangover. Man, that was the worst. I used to hate them. But anyway, um, I'm going to talk about something today. And, you know, it's a little bit different, you know. Um, I mean, it's not really that different, you know. I always talk to y'all about stuff that I care about and, you know, my heartfelt stuff. Um, what I want to talk about today is family. Uh you know what, and, you know, I do got one thing to say is one of, you know, me, um, I got uh, some half-siblings um, to my dad's um, second wife after my mom. Uh, one of my half-brothers, uh, he, he's younger, like, I think he's only like 24 or something like that right now. Um, I know he's no older than 25, if that, but I'm pretty sure he's like 23, 24. Um, he just got out of incarceration today. Uh, he made some bad decisions, and, you know, for what he did, like, I've seen people, like, actually try to kill people and get less time. It's crazy, you know. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that he shouldn't have got time for what he did. But as much time as he did, it's crazy. Um, he just had, you know, a simple theft charge. And he did like six years. I know somebody that actually killed somebody. And they did five years and got out. 
Like, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that because that gets into politics. And, you know, I just want to tell him that I hope he keeps his head on straight and stays out of jail. Um, and I hope he does very good. He's up in Pennsylvania. And uh, I just hope that he can stay away from the people that actually he was hanging out before he went in because... You know, it's not a very good crowd, you know, and I don't want to see him get back drug out and drug down into the gutters and end up back incarcerated again. So, you know, um, that and like my other brothers, you know, um, that are, you know, with my dad and my mother, uh, my mom, um, you know, we've always been really close, you know, especially me and um, my brother that's right underneath of me and the other one. Like, you know, my other brother, the youngest one, he's kind of distant from us all. And, you know, it, it's I don't want to get into that either because, you know, the way I feel about family. And uh, like I said, I don't want to get into that because it's nothing like. It's not a good subject to get into, you know. Um, I, I just don't like when family either turns their back on you or family will treat you like you're not family. Just put it that way, you know. I don't want to put out there what has happened or, you know, what has not happened. But, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, He's still my brother, and I probably would still be there if he called me and needed me. But, you know, it probably wouldn't be as fast as if one of my other brothers called me. And, I mean, that sounds sad, but in the way that I look at it, too, is I have brothers that's not blood to me. Because, you know what, the way I look at it is blood don't make you family. You know, truthfully, loyalty and respect is what you makes you family, especially loyalty. And I have some friends that, you know, has been loyal to me for years. I mean, years and years. You know, I have some friends that we've been friends since grammar school, you know. Like, I'm talking like second, third grade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we was, uh, I mean, and, you know, the people that I have like that are, like, actually friends with my whole family, you know. I got one buddy, you know, me and him had, you know, I mean, some outs, you know, here and there. But, you know, who don't? You know, who don't? But we've been friends for pretty close to 40 years. I mean, I... I'd probably say about 36, 37 years. I mean, no, I'd probably say about 36 years for real. You know, we're 42. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, you know, ever since we met, you know what I mean, in like kindergarten, first grade, something like that, we've been friends, you know. Um, you know, I used to stay with his family. He used to stay with my family and, you know, um... I'm close with uh, his, you know what I mean, his brothers and sisters, he's close with mine. Um, his mom and dad had passed away, you know, but they was like my second parents, you know. And my mom knows who I'm talking about, you know. Um, they was pretty good people, you know. And uh, they, they passed away way too young, you know. And um, I mean, I hate to see that, you know. I think if somebody passes away under, like, 65 or under, I think that's way too young, you know? I mean, any more 70s young, you think, you know? Like, my grandfathers, I wish they would have lived a lot longer than what they did, you know? Cause both of my grandfathers was awesome, awesome people, you know? Um, of course, they was old school, you know? Um... My grandmother on my dad's side had just passed years a few years back, you know, and um, 
I miss her like crazy. I used to, every morning whenever, like since we had to start taking care of her, every morning I used to go, my father and he lived, uh, when we lived in Pennsylvania, he lived like a block up the road from me. And uh, that's who my grandmother stayed with, you know, whenever she needed taken care of. Um, so, you know, I used to walk up there and uh, I'd make her, she used to drink, she was English, she actually came from England, you know. Um, I can't remember what part, I'm going to have to look up, look it up because I would like to find it. Like, like I, I've just found out that, you know. Well, I, I, I found out the real spelling of my last name because I'm actually Russian. My great-grandfather come here from Russia. And uh, like I was saying, my grandmother's English came here from England. Um, and I used to go up there and she would have a cup of tea every morning and a cup of oats. You know, and she always liked her oats made in a microwave. And she ate like a bird and she would always say are you giving me too much oats she always thought i gave her more than a cup you know i'm like graham there's only a cup there and uh i mean it, it was funny because you know all the way up until she passed away my grandmother was diabetic you know and um she loved her sweets man she loved her sweets and she would like try to sneak them or you know in her oats you know, she would try to put a little bit extra sugar. You know, I think whenever I used to leave the kitchen, she'd probably get up and put more sugar in her oats, you know. i put it in there. I'd be like, Graham, you can't have, like, too much more than that. You know, there's already a, more than enough sugar in your oats, you know. Okay. And then, you know, I, she'd want a little bit of milk in it. i put a little bit of milk in it. And uh, then I would go in and, uh, and I'd talk to my father for a little while. Um, yeah, I, I just miss her, man. It, it's it's kind of crazy, you know. And then I was thinking this morning about just different things. And, you know, her, it, it's weird, like, the stuff you remember and the stuff you don't remember. Like, I was talking, like, it was pouring down rain this morning. And I was on the phone with my mother, and I'm like, man, since it's been raining, my wrist has been hurting, you know, lately whenever it rains. And she's like, what you do to your wrist? I mean, not too long ago I fell and I hurt my, re hurt it, but I don't think I really did, like, real bad. It was like a week or two ago. But whenever I was younger, I shattered my wrist, and I had to have surgery on it, and I got, like, uh, pins and screws in it, you know, and, um... I told her, I was like, well, do you remember me getting surgery? And uh, she was like, what was that? And after I explained it to her, she remembered, you know. But, uh, you know, uh, like I said, like I can remember it to this day. Like it was, you know, whenever I woke up out of surgery, you know, my mother was there, my aunt, Franny, and my buddy Mike, you know. And um, he actually, he brought me some um, Swiss rolls. <laughs> yeah, when I was so, when I woke up out of surgery, he was like, you want Swiss rolls, man? Like, you know, I mean, I was young, you know. <laughs> uh, I think I was probably 13, 14. I wasn't that old, so, yeah. I mean, and whenever you think of stuff like that, you know, uh, it just makes you smile, you know what I mean? Like, I, I got uh, family that, you know, I used to go and visit out in Ohio and, you know, when we were younger. You know, like my cousin Wayne and my cousin Kenny and, you know, my cousin Melody. And See, I, I think Kenny and Wayne both live in North Carolina now, but they both used to live in Ohio also, but... You know, we used to go out there and, you know, I would uh, stay with either my cousin Valerie or, you know, depend on, you know, whenever I went out and that and, you know, uh, you, 
guys remember I just gave my one cousin a shout out because she was sick there for a while. My cousin Betty, uh, she's actually in Ohio, you know. But her and her husband always come down here to Florida. Like they come to Florida every year. I think it's like for their anniversary. I'm not sure though. But I know they come to Florida every year for a, um, for a uh, vacation. I think. Don't quote me, but I think. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like I'm close to all of my family. Like, um, I got a distant cousin. Like, they're, like Betty is my mom's first cousin, and then her sister Patty is my mom's first cousin. So I think I'd make them my second cousin. I'm not sure how that works, but you know. And I'm pretty close with all. Like me and Patty, and like that's Betty's sister. We always uh, make fun of each other, and you know, mess with each other, and. I call her old and <laughs> yeah but I mean always keep you know you always want to keep your family close you know if you can't keep your family close it, it, I don't even know like what to say like you know it's kind of sad you know whenever I see like people that Oh, I don't talk to none of my family. Me and my family have our differences, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Me and my family have our differences too, you know? There's some stuff that my family probably don't like that I do. And there's some stuff that my family probably does that I don't like. Or, you know, or vice versa or whatever, you know? But at the end of the day, they're still your family, you know? And you should still be there for them. You know, like I said, you know, I, uh, me and my brother Tony could be fighting, you know what I mean, like cats and dogs. And he, if he would call me, I'm like, bro, I really need you. I'm like, all right, what you need? You know, I can be there and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And my brother told me the same way, you know? But, oh, shout out to my brother John and his girl. They just had a baby. Baby girl, she is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful little girl. Um... Don't know who she gets that from. Maybe one of her uncles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, y'all. But uh, yeah, she is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I, I like kids, you know. Uh, and uh, like, I got a surprise for you guys coming on the 14th. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but you'll see. You'll see soon enough. On the 14th of this month, there's gonna be a surprise, guys. All right, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, wrap this up, guys. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Uh, the rest of your Monday here. Um, actually, uh, she's getting off a little bit early today. She can talk at three instead of five, so that's where I'm heading now. And um, do me a favor: share this video and smash that like button for me. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about put it down in the comments you, you want to talk to me or you want me to do some research on something to do it you want to I me mean, to check something out down here in Florida by me as long as it ain't far away I'm real far away I will go do that for you so yeah hit that subscribe button if you're new turn on your notifications there's a little bell over there hit that little bell when you hit that little bell every time I upload a video your stuff's gonna light up it's gonna vibrate it's gonna ring a ding it's gonna ring a ling ding dong it's gonna sing you a song it's gonna do whatever your stuff's supposed to do every time I upload a video that's because it turns your notifications on sounds really easy don't it it's because it is so turn on your notifications y'all that way you get notified every time and you'll know I'm uploading videos all right y'all this is schizo steve and i hope you guys have a great great and wonderful day for now i am out later